indicators. It's a word I like to use because it's what my father taught me. He talked about indicators. When you meet somebody, you've got to look at indicators. But really what indicators are, are red flags. And everybody knows what a red flag is. So this is warning signs when you first meet someone that there's trouble ahead in the relationship if you get involved with this person. Indicators happen when someone who is very controlling, manipulative, when they peek out from behind their polished image and show you who they really are. And you better believe it. I want to tell you about some of the behaviors that you need to watch out for and the, the red flags, in other words, the indicators. Some of the indicators you need to look for early in your relationship or just in your relationship to determine if there's emotional abuse going on is if your partner humiliates you, if they make fun of you in front of other people, if they demean you, disregard your opinions, your ideas, your suggestions, or your needs. They use sarcasm or teasing to put you down, to make you feel bad about yourself. They accuse you of being too sensitive when you confront them in order to deflect their abusive remarks and twist it back onto you. These are all signs of emotional abuse. I think some others are that they try to make you feel as if they are always right and you are wrong. They point out your flaws, your mistakes, your shortcomings. They accuse and blame you of things that, are, that you didn't do that aren't true. They're emotionally distant or emotionally un unavailable to you most of the time. You have to understand that love is a verb. Love is a commitment. And I, I like to say this over and over again, because if someone is loving you, then they're respecting you. They're treating you well. They're, they care about your well-being. And when someone is doing these sorts of tactics in your relationship, that's emotionally abusive.